And all right, friends, welcome to our Wednesday circle time. Let's go ahead and start with our hello song. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch your high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Can you stretch your high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? All right, friends, again, welcome to Circle Time. We said that today was Wednesday, yesterday was Tuesday, and the month is June. June, and the day, oh, I love whole numbers, and the day is 10. Today is the 10th of June. Two hands out, full 10th of June, and we have a new color this week. Hmm, you can guess the color. Teachers are wearing this colors. I have a fruit whose name is in this color. Hmm. Teacher Ruchi has a mouse for a computer in this color. I don't see any hands up, so I will ask Kartikeya. Kartikeya, what, what do you think? Can you guess what the color will be? Color of this week? What color? You are ordered by Hoss. Yeah, what color are these? Oh, wow. Yeah. B L A C K. Nice, yes, nice. Okay. Good job, yes. Black is the color of the week. Nice work, Kartikeya. Black. And Kartikeya like spelled the word for us. Oh, I'm so proud and, of you, Kartikeya. And he wrote it in the air, too. B L A C K. Black. And I said I had some fruit here. I have some black berries that we can eat. And teacher Ruchi had a black mouse. We're wearing black. I see that teacher Heidi has a black pattern and she has a rect, is it a re rectangle? rectangle? A black rectangle because we said our shape this week was rectangle. So teacher Heidi has a black rectangle. All right, we said that our rhyming words were getting trickier and trickier, but you guys are getting smarter and smarter as we go along we said rhyming words and the sing we have two new rhyming words oh they're tricky hmm. what animal is this leo you need to unmute yourself unmute. what uh, word okay, is okay. it unmute. unmute again no you are unmuted now we can hear you oh now you muted now we can hear you what's the question again so what animal is this? Chicken. It says quack, quack. Quack, quack. And he said it is a duck. It's a duck, yes. And here's its rhyming match. It's a vehicle. What type of vehicle is this? Miles, this is your turn. Thank you for unmuting, Hans. What picture is Carolyn showing, Miles? Miles, what is it? It's a... It's a... You said it, it's a truck. It's a truck, duck and truck rhyme. We said that they end, rhyming words end the same. So we say duck, D-U-C-K, we say truck, T-R-U-C-K. And I see that teacher Heidi has 
rhyming words on her board. That's so, Teacher Heidi. Hi there. I right, do. Hold on, Teacher there we go. I have stuck. Look at this. This is Winnie the Pooh. His honey pot is stuck on his head. Oh no. And then I also have buck. Ooh, a buck. Do you guys know what a buck is? Um, it is a male deer. And you know what? Also, Teacher Helen had a dollar bill, which we can also say buck. And then I also have pluck. Sometimes you can pluck the petals. Pluck. And then in U-C-K. Then I also have cluck. Does cluck. the duck say cluck, cluck, cluck? Cluck, cluck, cluck. And then I also have tuck. Does mom and dad tuck you in bed? Mm. And that also ends in U-C-K. So we have stuck, buck, cluck, pluck, and tuck. They all end in U-C-K. Nice work, Teacher Heidi. Thank you so much for sharing your board today. Da, 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 da. All right. Here we go. All right, friends. Let's go ahead. And I have another rhyming word. Yuck. And something is nasty and gross and we don't like it. We can say yuck and yuck is a rhyming word for duck and truck. All right, let's go ahead and look at our schedule. We are going to say hello to all of our friends. We did our calendar. We said that duck, truck, yuck, tuck, stuck, all rhyme. We said that black is our new color of the week. And we had a number this week and it was 15. All right, let's go ahead and say hello to all of our friends. All right, we can say good morning to Aaron. Hello, James. Good morning, Kartikeya. Good morning, Charlotte. Hello, Mason. Good morning, Charlie. Hello, Lucas. Good morning, Makoa. Hello, Leo. And good morning, Raul. And from our afternoon class, hello, Miles and Mimi. All right, friends. I think before we do our Venn diagram, remember we talked about things that we do at school, things that we can do during the summer or at home, and things we can do at both places. Let's go ahead and do our song for today. And if you came to our play date yesterday, we did this song, it's called Pup and Bubbles. So you gotta pop, 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 pop the bubbles to free all the little fishes that are hiding inside. Oh my, let's try again. There we go. Nailed it. All right, friends. Let me get out of the 
the spring. Let's see. Oh, goodness. So many windows open. I can't see. What's on the screen now? A song. Popping bubbles. The popping bubbles. Still popping bubbles. Okay. I think maybe you need to stop sharing and share again to work. I can't. The button went away. Uh oh. <laughs> I have to find it. There it is. Yay. The screen does what it wants. All right. Let's see. Let's share some pictures of the color black. Teacher Ruchi went out on a walk and she found things at a playground that have the color black. She found a black swing. Oh, this long post here, it's part of a basketball hoop. Basketball hoop. And it's black. Oh, a web, like a climbing web is black. And in the picture, a crossing sign for school, because I see they're carrying their bags. The silhouette or the shadow is also black. Make sure you go around town and see if you can see things that are black or things that are black inside your house. All right, nice work, teacher more change. Woo, way to get out and work out. All right, we were talking about on Monday about our Venn diagram. And we said that it's two circles. Here's my green circle, here's my blue circle that meet in the middle. The middle means you can do it in both places. Both places. We said that at in summer or at home, we can go on trips, we can go to the pool, and we can have pets. At school, we ride the bus. In both, we said we can ride bicycles, play with bubbles, look at pictures, play with toys, listen to music, and play in the sand. And we can do those things at home during summer, or we can do those at school. All right, what about this one? Reading stories. Hmm. Where can we read a story? Can we read them at home, at school, or can we do them in both places? Makoa, what do you think? You can say, you can show us one figure for school and two fingers for boss. I see you are muted. Oh, you need to have your fingers though in front of the camera so we can see them. Two. Two. So both. So both. Thank you, Makoa. We read stories here in class on Zoom and we read stories at home. We'll actually read a story on Friday and the cover of that book is black. All right. What about puzzles? Where can we play with puzzles at? Let's see. Charlotte, what do you think? And you need to unmute yourself. Or you can tell me, you can show one finger if you only do puzzles at school, and two fingers if you can do both at home and school. I don't see your thing. Two. Yeah. In Spanish, we call it rompe cabezas. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's another one. Mm, this one's kind of tricky. All right. We talked about summer, and we said when you're at summer, maybe you go to daycare or maybe you go to camp, but you won't see your teachers from Sorensen or from bigger schools. So here's the question Where do you see your teachers from Sorensen? Do you see them in summer or do you see them at school? Let's see. I will ask Kartikeya. Oh, Kartikeya, I think, has his hand up. Kartikeya, what do you think? I better. Do you see the teachers from Sorenson at school or do we come and do you see us over summer? School or summer. When it's hot and maybe you go on vacation with your family, maybe you stay home more. I think you take the bus. We said the bus is at school, so I'm going to say I see you come off the bus at school. Yeah, and that was a little tricky question too, Teacher Carol, is because summer, it's not here yet, and it's a little, might be a little confusing for some of our friends. All right, what about going on hikes or walks? Ooh. Hmm, I like this one. Leo, what do you think? Do we go as a school for hikes? Or can you go with your family? I think both. You think both? Oh. Well, we have a little forest behind our school and this year we didn't get to go because we were planning to go over spring, but spring we stayed home for because of coronavirus. So you are right. Maybe we can go on smaller hikes when we, um, when we are at school at, or 
little forest that we have behind us. All right, let's see. Oh, let's see. Maybe some of our friends have done this. What about going fishing? Oh, let's see. Would you go fishing at school? I don't know. I've never seen a pond at school, but I've seen a pond when I'm at home during the summer. Miles. Can you go fishing when you are at school or when you are at home? We need to unmute him, Hans. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. So can you go uh, fishing when you are at school or when you are at home? Fishing. Mm -hmm. Fishing. Did you fishing at school or at home? We have a fishing game, but that's not with real fish. I remember we played a fishing game at school, but that's not with real fish. And maybe you have not gone fishing. And I, yeah. I have only gone once. Yeah. And I know that I'm going to use my elimination. I know that there's no ponds at school. So I'm going to say no for school. And I'm going to say yes then on your own when you're at home, you can look for ponds or lakes. And sometimes if you go hiking, you might see little trails of water or streams, and you might be able to see fishes in there. All right, friends, we'll do two nice. more, and then we'll be all done for their Venn diagram. Oh, here's one. How about playgrounds? Do we see playgrounds at school, at summer, or can we see playgrounds in both? Can we go play at the playground in both? Charlotte, what do you think? You can show me one finger for school, or two finger for both. We know we have a playground at school, but you might have one closer to your house. There might be a park. Thank you, I see two fingers. Yes, we saw that teacher Ruchi went on a walk to a playground and she found lots of things that were black in a playground by her house. All right, let's try one more. Oh, let's see. We said that we can wear a raft and we can go on a lake or water or pool. So what about swimming? Can we swim at school? Or swimming is something we have to do during the summer. Let's see. Oh. Kartike, what do you think? Do we go swimming at school? Or do you go when you are at home? Maybe you go to a pool, maybe you go on vacation and you... Or summer, right? Can we go swimming when we are at school, Kartike? Yes or no? Yeah. No. Nah, we don't have a pool at school. So I'm going to say at home or during the summer. All right, things that we can do at home during the summer and at school. We can ride bicycles. We can do sand toys. We can play with animals, we can play with toys, we can play music or musical instruments, we can read books, we can look at pictures, we can do puzzles, we can play in playgrounds, and sometimes we can go on walks. My goodness, and at school, you will see your school teachers um, and you will ride bus, and at home, we definitely will be going on trips or playing with pets. Pets are usually at, at home, swimming and being in the water, and we said that fishing in a pond or a lake are things you do at home. We don't do those things at school. All right, friends. We are almost done with our circle time. So let's go ahead and have something to show you. We said that we can do bubbles at home and at school. So this, we have this written on our home learning and we're gonna make some kind of bubbles too. You'll need a cup of water to pour in. You'll need to dish so, and then you can try with a whisk and see if you can make foam, or you can take a hand mixer. And you can make bubbles and foam to play at home. And you can put toys in there if you have toys. We can blow bubbles. That's something you can do and make at home playing with bubbles. And you can do that anytime you like. Go ahead and ask your parents. All right, let's go ahead and do our countdown. We said there were how many days of circle time left until summer? 
let's go ahead and find out how many days until summer. Ready? One. My hands are soaking now. Two. Three. Four. There are four circle times left until summer. One, two, three, four. All right, let's go ahead and do our balloon countdown. We have one, two, three, four, five balloons. We take away one balloon. Five minus one is one, two, three, four, four. That is how many circle times we have left until it's summer vacation. Four circle times left. All right, friends, I know that teacher Ruchi has the goodbye book. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to our Wednesday circle time. All right, see you later, alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Bye bye, butterfly. Give a hug, ladybug. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Be sweet, parakeet. Blow a kiss, goldfish. See you soon, baboon. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, 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 ah. Take care, polar bear. Mm, cold. Ooh. Out the door, dinosaur. So long, King Kong. <laughs> nice, King Kong, Miles. <laughs> and bye, said the fly. Zoop. The end. And fiend, that's all for today, Wednesday. We will see you on Friday. We have four more circle times until graduation and summer. Anything else, Teacher Marietta? Nothing else. Maybe you can look at home and look for the color black. Maybe you have things that are black. I have lots of clothes that are black. Black is one of my favorite colors. So maybe right. you, can, you can look that's around your house. All right, that's all for today, friends. Bye, see you on Friday. Bye, Kartikeya. Bye, Kartikeya. Bye.